Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, you will learn a new automation technique by which you can connect Microsoft Teams with Google Sheets application to save the conversations and chats that you're having in a channel in Microsoft Teams into a spreadsheet in Google Sheets application. So you can see on my screen, this will be the flow of this automation here. As and when you are going to receive any message in a channel in Microsoft Teams, the same message will be automatically added in a new row in the spreadsheet in Google Sheet application. So by this automation, you can create a record of the chats that you are having here in Microsoft Teams and you can refer that record later on from this Google Sheet directly, right? And to make this happen, we are using another application which is called Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And we are going to set up this automation without any coding or programming. So let's get started. So you can start from this link, pabli.com slash connect. From here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account by clicking on the sign up free button and you will get 100 free automation tasks every month. After that, you can log in and reach here on the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you have to create a workflow for that. Just click on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable name to this workflow. So I am giving the name here. So after giving the name like this, you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is started loading up here. And on this page, you will see these two things, trigger and action. So in the trigger, you have to connect Microsoft Teams and in the action, you have to connect Google Sheets. Okay, so from here, search for Microsoft Teams. Here it is, select it. All right, and in the action, you have to select Google Sheets application. And then it will ask for the trigger event and the action event. So the trigger event would be that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be action event would be the response towards the trigger event. So in our case, the trigger event would be a new channel message. Okay. And the action event would be to add the channel message details in a row in Google Sheets. So select add new row here in this step. All right. Now here you can see it is written here every eight hours. So this trigger is going to check in every eight hours if there is a new message received inside our channel in Microsoft Teams or not. And uh, in every eight hours, it is going to trigger this workflow and send the messages into this spreadsheet. Okay. So here you have to click on connect and from this window, select add new connection, then click on connect with Microsoft Teams. And here it will ask to give the required access for connecting Pabli Connect with Microsoft Teams. So if you have to scroll down and click on accept here, that is completely safe and you will be connected with Microsoft Teams. So you can see we are getting connected. All right. So it is showing connected and here it is asking for the team's name and the channel's name. So here I have this team in Microsoft Teams account. So guys here inside this team section, you can see I have this sales and marketing team. Under this team, I have these two channels, general and monthly reports. So I want to uh, fetch the details of this general channel here in my spreadsheet like this. Okay. So here I'm going to connect this channel here. First of all, select the team's name. Sales and marketing is here, select it. All right, then it will show you the channel's name, select general channel and then click on save and send test request and the details of the most recent message will be fetched here like this from your uh, Microsoft Teams. Here you can see it, we have received this response from Microsoft and it is showing the created date and time of this uh, message. This is the time and the date at which we have received the message. Okay. And here you can see the username who have sent this message is here. All right. And here you can see here we have the body content type in uh, it is showing HTML. So we have received the content of the message in HTML format. And this is the body content of the message. Here you can see we have received these details. You can see this is the message I had here in Microsoft Teams. You can see the user was Pabli Connect and this is the message and the details of this message got fetched here. Okay, right. Now I want to save this message in my spreadsheet here uh, in this spreadsheet. Okay. So to get this message here like this, 
here you can see we want the team members name the date and time of the message and the whole message okay so here you can see in this date and time label that we have received we have received the date in this format so it is quite confusing not presentable so i'm going to change the format of this date for that i'm going to click here on this plus icon in between these two steps okay and another action step will open up in this action step i'm going to search for date time formatter this is date time formatter feature of public connect with the help of this you can change the formats of the dates and the times so in the action event select this option format date with time zone okay then click on connect and here it is asking which dates format you want to change so here i am going to map this label this created date time label okay so to map this label here just click on this date field and it will show you the previous step in the drop down so when you click on this microsoft team step it will show you all the data that you have received in the trigger so from here only uh, just select this great created date time label and now it is asking from which format you have received the data so i have received the data in this format you can see yy mm dd and a t in between and the time so this is the same format already selected here no need to do anything and here it is asking to which format you want to change so from this list you can select any format which you use generally so here i am going to select this format guys okay it's it's quite clear so i am selecting this only or you can use this also so i'm let's choose this ddmm yy and now it is asking for the time zone so it is asking from which time zone you got the data so i have received the time zone in asia kolkata as i am residing in india you have to select your time zone and in the two time zone i want to keep the time zone as it is so i'm selecting asia kolkata only now click on save and send test request and you will get a new date time label in this result table and you can see that format is changed now and it is pretty clear now okay and here uh, another thing i want is that you can see here in this response from microsoft teams we got the message in this format and in this format you can see the format is html basically so we have these html tags added in between the lines you can see these angle brackets br so guys you can actually remove these angle brackets or these html tags from the message for that you can use another feature of public connect just click on this plus icon here and another action step will open up and from here you can search for text formatter so with the help of text formatter you can change the format of the text that you are receiving in the response and the action event select text basic formatting okay text basic formatting then click on connect and here it is asking which string you want to change the format of so here i have received this body content label in which i have received this string of message so i'm going to map it here just click here and it will show you the previous step in the drop down from here only map the body content label here it is map the content label okay and in the transform field you have to select this option remove html tags select remove html tags and then click on save and send test request and now you can see in this result label we got this message and here you can see there are no html tags which you have here in this label you can see these are the tags we have previously now the tags are removed okay now i uh, guys i have the data that i want to send to my spreadsheet so here let's connect with google sheets application just click on connect and from here select add new connection then click on connect with google sheets and from here you have to select that google account by which you have created that sheet select that account all right and in the uh, here you have to give the additional access to pabli connect just click on continue that is completely safe and you will be connected with google sheets like this okay right so it has started showing connected and here it is asking to select the spreadsheet so my spreadsheet's name is this microsoft teams messages so you have to select this same sheet from this select spreadsheet option here you can see it is showing the name and it is showing the list of all the spreadsheets i have so from here select your spreadsheet and the sheet name will be selected here automatically because i have only one sheet here named as sheet 1 so it will be selected here like this okay now it is asking for the team members name date and time and the message so these are the headers of the columns that i have in this sheet you can see 
let me zoom it a bit so you can see clearly team member date and time and message so to get this data filled here like this you need to map the values of these fields here so to map the values we are going to map the values from the previous steps so for the first team member name use the first step just click here and it will show you the first step here just click on it and you will get the username uh, here it is user display name label map it for the date and time use the third step in which I have changed the format of the date okay here it is okay and in the message map the message from this text formatter step in which we have removed the HTML tags okay now as I'm going to click on save and send test request the data will be transferred here in the new row in the spreadsheet let me show you I have clicked on save and send test request and this is the response we have received here let's let me show you the sheet and you can see we got the data here automatically okay so this is how it is going to work guys now we are done setting up this automation and we have to set up this automation only once after that we do not have to do anything manually here after that as and when you are going to receive any chats here in this general text channel all the data in every eight hours i think in every eight hours yeah in every eight hours will be delivered to your spreadsheet like this okay so you'll have a record of your chats you can refer it later on and guys you can use the same workflow that i have created because i'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.